Now, if you're living in Israel, you've surely heard of HOT's new hit series, Khanshi, drawn from our special guest's own experience as a young Brooklyn-born and raised woman moving from observant Jewish community to Jerusalem. And after the character she portrays, Khanshi decides to cancel her engagement while deciding this isn't the life she wants. She sets off to Israel to get what she actually does want, which is, for the most part, breaking her own barriers. And I'm not going to tell you much more, but I'm honored and really excited to speak to Khanshi, who is show creator and actress, Alisa Khanovic. Hi, Alisa. Hi. How are you doing? I'm really you excited to speak to you. You kept it PG, I see. Yeah, very much, very much. I'm not telling much more, but first of all, I'd like to ask you, who are you, Aliza Khanovich, the, the woman, and how does every Israeli household know the phenomenon you are really quickly? Oh, I have no I That's like a way too big of a question for me to answer. Um, and how do they, how do the Israelis know about, we were talking about like American girls who moved to Israel, who with a fantasy of I mean, marrying really, an Israeli soldier. Yeah, really in general. I mean, you came pretty much like a storm. I mean, you know, every time we sing like many new series, many hit series, but it's always like pretty much the same actors, the same actresses. And suddenly you came, uh, this like redhead, like talented redhead with her new series. And yeah, how, how come? Tell us a little bit more about it. Um, well, I... I, have, I think I kind of went through the back door in terms of how I got the series made. I did a few short films while I was in uh, film school in Sam Spiegel in Jerusalem. And um, they got into the hands of Miri Tubi, who's in charge of content at HOT. And instead of me asking her if I can do a series, she asked me if I thought about doing a series. And I said yes, even though I didn't really want to. And uh, almost six years later, here we are. And really, how close is the story of Khanshi to your real life? People love asking that question. First of all, it doesn't really matter. Second of all, well, when people ask, sometimes I just say, yeah, it's a documentary. It's all, it all happened exactly like that. But um, obviously, it's based off of things that I felt or I thought. Um, I was engaged once. And I got married. We're still married. We just had a baby. So that part isn't true. Um, in terms of how excited I was about coming to Israel and taking it all in, that was definitely true. Um, and um, I don't know. I can't say what's real, what's not real. At this point, it's all made up. It's just there to entertain. And hopefully we'll get the series sold to the U.S., make some money. I have mouths to feed. This is an expensive country as much as I love it. So you're saying there's no money here in Israel? No. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're going to be in this industry in Israel, then you have to do it because you want to do it. Um, I don't really know of anybody who's really making it big by <laughs> making TV or movies here. Um, but I do plan on staying here. So that's let's not, go back. It's not that I want to run away. For sure. So let's go back a little bit to the series. You're saying then that it's partly based on true events. What made you write and portray Khanshi herself. I mean, someone else might have just chosen another actress to do it. You're dealing with so many not so easy subjects to tackle, like sexuality, breaking the ultra-orthodox barriers, etc. And I'm going back to the courage factor here. It's all very courageous, let's say. Um, I think a lot of, you can, okay. I can't say that it was, that everything is, something is based on a specific event. I will say that the themes that I deal with are themes that are important to me and questions that the series ask are things that are questions that I've asked. Not that I have any answers. Um, for me, it's more of kind of like a, the, the creative process is a very therapeutic process in terms of dealing with questions I have or characters that I've met along the way. Um, I'm not Hanchi. She is a fictional character. So when people call out Hanchi on the street and I turn around, I'm responding to the show, not that I think that I am the actual character, though I'm sure many people can confuse the two. I'd like to think I have a little more awareness than her. Um, I also definitely wrote this about me when I moved to Israel when I was 21, now I'm 32. So there's definitely perspective. Um, I have like a certain perspective on the way things were then and the way things are now. Did I answer the question? <laughs> you certainly did. And I wanted to tell you that we've of course looked for your social media account. You're not on there as far as I understand. 
in this showbiz world where everyone's looking for fame all the time, you're not in the game. Do you feel it's harming you? I mean, what are your goals after Hanchi now in this business? Well, I definitely have some projects that I still want to work on, and I don't think it's harming me. The only thing that's harming me is all the people around me who I know that they love me who are just saying, why don't you have an Instagram account? Because I do want free stuff. So I guess I'd have to up a one if that's really what I'm after. But, um, but I made the project. We made it to Sundance in Utah, and I did it without Instagram. So I don't think that that's what you need in order to get to the next project. Yeah, I, I mean, appreciate, this I appreciate you saying this. You have a, a um, telephone kosher, a kosher phone. Yeah, but I have phone. text messages, so it's technically not kosher. <laughs> That's interesting. Now, what are some of the comments you're receiving from the orthodox world? I mean, and did your parents watch the show? Um, I don't know how many episodes my parents watched. My father came to the premiere, and although he may not agree with all the content, he supports me no matter what. Same thing with my mother. They all support me. Um, in terms of backlash from the religious community, I, I, I think in Israel I've gotten positive feedback from the Orthodox people who admit that they're watching it. Um, I was in Sundance now, and I, saw, I see that a lot of the American Orthodox Jews, what of a lot, a few of them, have said that, oh, here's just another show about a religious person who leaves the religious world. That's not what the show's about. Um, it's clear to me that this these people haven't actually watched the show. I mean, how can they? It's not in America. So if they're watching it, they're doing it illegally. Um, can we expect but, a second you know, you season? Can everyone. Can we, expect a sec can we expect a second season now? Soon? Well, I'm, I had a baby one month ago, so right now I'm working on that. Um, so I can't really tell you about a second season. I, don't, I haven't written anything. <laughs> Aliza Khanovich, that's the most important job, that's for sure. Everyone go as Hansi. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Aliza.